welcome to the Mike Television Toy Showcase channel where we're going to talk some Star Wars news. As I've told you before, about Force Friday, that is all the toys on this list that tells you what was available on September the 1st. Now, I'm going to tell you what's coming soon and exciting news from Hascon, which is on right this very second. I can't be there because I'm on the other side of the world. Some images have come out on the internet showing the new stuff for Wave 2. As you know, for Wave 1, we had 11 figures. Then there was two more that didn't come to Australia. You may have got them where you are. They are Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Some people have them in hand. At Hascon, they're showing them off on the big screen as if, as if they're coming soon. I'm not quite sure how that happens, but the images we have to share with you today come courtesy of Toy Ark. Toy Ark is there and they are showing off all their exceptional photos with their watermarks on them, of course, on the internet. First thing I want to mention is in the 3.75 inch figures, they are doing a vintage collection. We all know the vintage collection is coming because we saw that at Star Wars Celebration and we saw Rey on a car that was the Force Awakens vintage collection is returning in 2018. Rey! Excellent. So we know Ray's coming out. We also know now we know Snoke is on his way. Oh, Paige just fell. Oh, Rose just fell over. Snoke is on his way, as well as uh, we have, if I go through my image banks here, we also have a Hoth Trooper. We have Jin Erso. We have Kylo Ren. He has cloth on his outfit too. For That's a premium figure. These are premium figures. And a Stormtrooper as well. But having Snoke is awesome. So, what I want to tell you today is the Wave 2 figures that are on their way featuring Old Man Luke, Jedi Exile. As you can see, these photos. I'm showing you on screen right now. That's a nice one up close of the figure. He's all in brown. It is very similar to the Funko Pop that came out on Force Friday. It was a Walmart exclusive Luke Skywalker. And it looked like he was wearing a kyber crystal around his neck. In this image, there is no kyber crystal. There's a few more images from the side on. Looks very cool. The next image we got here is of... Chirrut Inway and Bay's Malbus 2-pack, the Rogue One figures. These guys here are back again. Remember we had Chirrut Inway in the Rogue One collection and the Bay's Malbus was a 2-pack then and he still is. Why did Hasbro do that? Do they not think he is worthy enough to have a single carded figure? Hmm, who knows? But it's good to see him back. I may be picking this one up. The figures there out of the packaging, very nice. There's some of the weaponry. The weaponry has gone back to a regular weapons, not that rubbish that we had before with all the oversized, crazy weapons that had nothing to do with Star Wars. It was just in there as filler because I felt guilty that the figures were so lame. The Rogue One figures, when you have them on card, they look cool. When you take them out of the packaging and display them and then put all the extra bits and pieces with it, to one side, you will notice how ugly it looks. We're going to move on to one of the figures from Wave 2 will be Leia in her Hoff gear. This is a cool looking figure. We have had that before in previous, going back through the Kenny years, we've seen that one before. But this one, very nice facial, facial sculpt. She's holding a, she's got a weapon there. Right next to her there's uh, Emperor Palpatine with his blue lightning out of his fingers, and there's Kylo unmasked with the scar. Then we find a three pack with Rose, BB-8, and BB-9E, the new droid. The packaging there is similar to that. It, it, it's sitting right next to the two pack there. I can see in that image there, you got Han and Boba Fett's package there so this will be treated like a two-pack even though there's three characters I guess the droids are so small they gotta make it a bit more value for money that is an amazing 3.75 inch princess layer but this is our general Leia Organa 
She looks really good, figure. That is really, really good. And there's Chewy off to her side there with the Porg. Here is Yoda, as you can, from earlier, we, we told you he's coming soon. We know he's, he should have been out already. I don't know how some people have got him. That is the R2-D2 that's on its way. And, of course, you have to put C-3PO with him, and they all come together. Another picture of Yoda. There's another picture of R2-D2. Yeah, that little rocket jet. Remember when he flew that time? Yeah. Now, controversially, this is the Ray. She has that poncho on. It's very similar to the Ray that we got. And it looks like all they've done is thrown a poncho over the top. It's like, why? The paint is a little bit different. But, yeah, that poncho is just... I'm not feeling it. It's just not, not happening. And there's a picture of Finn. And this character in the middle is DJ. He's coming out soon as well. I'll also throw up the carded figure of DJ. Very good picture. What does DJ stand for? Is it Dark Jedi? Who knows? The guys at Hasbro had a panel, and on the screen behind them, they showed the packaging of the action figures. We'll check them out now. Ray. Luke, DJ, thank you for joining me in this, this Hascon update. We are going to showcase the Force Link during the week, so stay tuned for that. My name's Usual Mike. You've been watching Usual Mike Television Toy Showcase channel, and you can follow me on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at Usual Mike Television. Subscribe for more awesome videos, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.